Politicians' promises about the economic impact of big events are kind of like the promotional banners that get hung all over town. Once baseball's all-star game was over, the predictions of big dollars coming to town kind of got put away with the banners. When the all-star game came to Denver in July, the mayor and the governor estimated a $100 million impact. Well, now Marshall Zellinger has the receipts. There's no denying the Midsummer Classic at Coors Field helped Denver's bottom line. The question is, how much? The city sales tax collection for July 2021, compared to the last two Julys, shows more money for the city of Denver. How much of that do we attribute to a single event versus how much do we attribute it to an economy that was coming back. DU finance professor Matt Klaus reviewed the city sales tax returns with me because of the promises made in April. By some estimates, this event will mean more than $100 million impact to our local economy. 100 million to our local economy does not mean 100 million in sales tax kept by the city, but the sales tax numbers give us a closer look at how much was spent and where. For example, sales tax revenue at restaurants and bars jumped $4 million compared to last year, but that was in the heart of the pandemic when restaurants were not at the same capacity as today. If we compare July 2021 to July 2019, the sales tax increase was just $125,000. Hotel stays resulted in $2 million more in tax collections, but were slightly down compared to July 2019. However, the city earned the most dollars per rented room since October 2019, and 72% of the rooms were occupied. That's the most since just before the pandemic began in March 2020. Did we benefit by having the All-Star Game here? The answer is yes. Yes, of course. Did we benefit that much? The stadium was full, but how many of those people were from out of state and bringing in new money versus the people within the state with existing money? Overall, the city took in nearly $13 million more in sales tax revenue compared to last July, but it was just $6 million more if we compare this July to July 2019. I quickly want to point out the most interesting stat to me. Pot sales tax revenue was down compared to last year, $1 million, but up compared to 2019 by about 233,000. Let's put that aside for a second. Yeah. Overall, yeah. the money spent by people last year, this year compared to last year, was like 381 million more. When you compare it to a non-pandemic year, uh, $173 million more spent. But can you attribute all half of it? How much can you attribute to an all-star game? Yeah. So what you're telling me, Marshall, is that a trained observer of politics is telling me that these politicians' promises may not be able to be pinned down in the end. Correct. You can look at the sales tax data to guide us, but there's so much spending, furniture, appliances, construction materials, that is calculated in how much people spend and how much sales tax is collected. That would have been spent regardless of an all-star game or not. Yeah, yeah. So We're going to go in and tell our bosses that we're 32% better at our jobs than last year. Can they prove it? Probably not. Probably can't disprove it either.